It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. It's a world of hopes and a world of fears. There's so much that we share that it's time we're aware. It's a small world after all. 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 It's a small world. organization. We're doing a great pavilion for the World's Fair sponsored by UNICEF. UNICEF was a wonderful, is a wonderful organization. We were roaring down the freeway going back to the studio from where we were and Walt was driving. I said, Walt, we'd like to donate all the royalties from this song to the kids. He actually pulled over to the side of the road, slammed the brakes on and said, you're not going to give those royalties away. He said, don't be silly. They're getting a lot of money for this, and they'll make some good royalties. And it's your song. It'll pay for your kids' education. That's your birthright. Then he got, they just got back on the freeway and drove us back to the studio, never mentioned it again. Perhaps the greatest accomplishment that, uh, that a, a writer can have is to create something that so insinuates itself into the DNA of a culture that it's thought to be a folk song or it's thought to be anonymous. And It's a Small World is precisely one of those, one of those songs. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. It's a world of hopes and a world of fears. There's so much that we share that it's time we're aware. It's a small world after all. <laughs> Let's face it, all these great designers and engineers, Imagineers, who created these audio animatronics dials, they dressed them so beautifully. All these people did so much to make that thing such an experience, and then you hear the song 500 times coming through the ride. You know, it's one of the greatest song plugs in the world. There's legendary stories about the ride slowing down or stopping and all these dolls and you, yeah, it's a small world. One day, my father took uh, my sister to Disneyland when she was, I don't know, eight or whatever, and of course they had to go on It's a Small World, and then the ride broke, and so they were trapped in It's a Small World for about four hours, just going around and around and around, and that was, that was a sort of musically traumatic experience for my father, though I think my sister quite liked it. I also have really good memories of it from growing up with my sister and our experiences of going there, and I just remember being fascinated with that whole ride and the experience of the kids singing in different languages. And I soon realized that, you know, they didn't actually fly on magic carpets in Arabia. Think of like a, a murder sequence in a picture with a guy with an ax killing everybody and play that song. It's pretty damn scary, you know? <laughs> There's no more uh, insulted song in history than Small World. That's it. I mean, that you want to drive someone crazy, play Small World for them 600 times in Tahitian. I think if, if they ever tried to dismantle It's a Small World, there would be, you know, sort of a national riot. That's because it clicked. It worked. Bob and I, I think, take a lot of pride in that because it's, it's again, it's a pop tune, you know. It's a simply popular song, but it says something. It says something very important. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears, a world of hopes, and a world of fears. There's so much that we share. That's time we were aware. It's a small world after all.